Welcome to the Gould's Water Technology video training series. In this episode, we're going to talk to you about a typical wastewater panel installation using three floats. Please note, damp atmosphere, especially on sewage installation, will damage electrical equipment. To maintain the sealed feature of this equipment, make all wiring connections with liquid tight fittings and use duct seal compound to seal wires at all conduit terminations. First, you'll want to determine the hole locations on the panel for liquid tight fittings and drill the proper sized holes for the fittings. Next, determine the mounting location for the control panel and then mount the panel using the drilled holes. Attach the fittings and conduits. Run the pump cable and float cables through the conduit. Then, wire the pump power cable to terminals T1 and T2 on the panel. Wire the lowest level, or the off float, to terminal strip positions 1 and 2. Once that has been done, Wire the next level, the on float, to terminal strip positions 3 and 4. Wire the highest level, the alarm float, to terminal strip positions 5 and 6. Now, you will wire the service voltage wires to the proper terminals. For 115 volt supply, wire to terminals L1 and L2 and make sure there is a jumper on L2 and N. For 230 volt supply, wire to terminals L1 and L2. This panel must have a separate neutral wire for the N terminal when using 230 volt. The pump may be operated at any time by placing the hand off auto switch in the hand position. Finally, for automatic operation, place the hand off auto switch in the auto position. A rise in sump level past the off float and a further rise in sump level past the on float energizes the contactor, starting the pump. As the sump level drops below the on float, the circuit is held by holding contacts until the level is below the off float. Should the pump fail to lower the sump level and a continued rise activates the alarm float, the external alarm horn and the high level flashing light will energize. A separate 115 volt control circuit power supply may be connected to the control panel. In the event that the panel does not turn on the pumps, the separate 115 volt control circuit power supply will still send power to the alarm float terminal positions, thereby activating the alarm horn and light. To wire a separate 115 volt control circuit power supply, first, remove the jumper from terminal strip positions H and L1. Then, connect a 15 amp maximum protected 115 volt supply to terminal strip positions L1 and N with the neutral of the supply to end. 